Author and adventurer Sequoia Schmidt's first book, Journey of Heart, detailed the death of her father and her brother in 2013 due to an avalanche on Pakistan's K2 mountain and her journey to attempt to recover their remains. Sequoia joined us on the show early last year before cycling across the country on her adventure book tour. And she is now back with her latest work, Changing Gears, which is all about that biking adventure. It is great to have you back with us. Thanks. Yes, Thanks well, for having me back. It feels good. Now, first of all, um, <laughs> let's get a little bit about your story. So you live in the States, but you were, you were born and raised here, weren't you? I was in Napier, and I live in LA now. So it's quite a contrast. Very much so. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about your background. Um, my background uh, in general. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so a quick hash for people that maybe missed last quick year. Quick hashtag, yeah. Um, so actually, I, I'm an entrepreneur. I started a company in publishing, funny enough. And um, after I did this trip to Pakistan, which my first book was about, um, I wrote a book. And it started leading to all these adventures. And one of them was cycling around New Zealand. And so this is my second book on it. Wow. And, and the first time we were here, we learned about your father and your brother. For those that missed that interview, can you just quickly explain what happened to them? In 2013, uh, an avalanche on the mountain K2 uh, took their lives. So that your first book was all about that journey of heart. How was mm -hmm. that received? Well, I guess, yeah. I mean, um, must have been back with book two. <laughs> I'm back with book two, so it must have done pretty well. Yeah. So that one, like this one, actually, was um, an international book awards finalist, which is a huge honor. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's an incredible honor, and I was one of last year and this year one of the youngest people to ever get that honor. So. That is exciting. <laughs> so was this book more about your personal journey, or was it about New Zealand? It's both. Okay. It's got a little bit of history, a little yes. bit of culture, a little bit of geography, um, but then it's also a lot of flashbacks because that was a really emotional journey for me. Because when you came back to do this trip and to mm -hmm. promote your other book, you hadn't been back to New Zealand for 10 years or so, had you? 10 years. So you would have been having all of those moments too and you went back to places that you spent a lot of time with your family with. Is exactly, that right? yeah, all through the South Island, the North Island. That's why I wanted to bike it because it was. I knew it was going to be a really emotional time and I needed something physical to like let all that out. Have you biked before? No, I didn't bike before this. <laughs> so I was like, ah. and it talks about that in the book. I was just like a total mess the first few days. I started with this huge trailer with all my stuff on it. And would. then by the end of day one, I shipped all the stuff to Auckland. <laughs> was like down to bungee cords and like three things. And so. how far would you get each day? It just depends on the day. Right. It depends on the day. Um, some days I would, sometimes I would do 60 kilometers. Sometimes I would do 80. It must be a really difficult thing to do when you're revisiting all these places that obviously have such great emotion for you with your family. Mm -hmm. So what, what happens afterwards? Are you on your bike sort of cycle crying as you're going along the road? Sort of like, <gasps> yeah, I mean, you joke about it, but that's really what it was, right? Like I was, I was cycle crying a lot of it. And it really helped through the, there's this section called the Rainbow Valley in the South Island. And um, there's a lot of it that's kind of treacherous a little bit. And I was all by myself. I was alone. I had no human contact for two days. And... Um, a lot of it was just processing my emotions, so I'm pushing up this hill and crying, and and it was good. It was a really good way to release all that. Well, I'm pleased you bring your GoPro because yeah. we're looking at some footage there. I mean, New Zealand's a great place to cycle, but but what is it about being free on a bike and allowing your mind to remember those moments and to get emotional? What what is it? The fresh air? Is it the isolation? It's everything. It's all of that, you know, and it's just having a physical challenge in front of you. Right. When you put yourself outside of your comfort zone, this wasn't a comfort zone for me. Mm. I've never biked before. Mm. So when you take yourself outside of your comfort zone, you learn a lot about who you are and what your mind processes and how it works. And I did it without music and without distraction. It was just kind of me alone. And some beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, you got some scenery. special chafing cream, I believe. <laughs> I did, yes, yeah, some butt cream. <laughs> it was great. It helped a lot. I bet it did. And you had an accident too in the Bay of Plenty, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah, just outside of um, Tauranga. I, I was nicked by a car. So you can read all about that in the book. It was, that was an emotional time as well, just kind of getting over that psychology and jumping back on the bike for the last section of the tour from Hamilton to well, and, no, and look, and I take my hat off to you for that because I guess based on what happened to your father and your brother, you know, when something happens and there could be a potential disaster, you might have given up. So what kept you going after that? Perseverance. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just staying strong. So what's your next challenge then? So, you, I mean, you do things obviously in a very adventurous way. So after <laughs> this book tour, what's going to be your next challenge? Well, actually, no, to, um, let's see. Uh, 
tomorrow? No, today, this afternoon, I fly down to the South Island. I'm going to do some climbing in the Remarkables. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the Remarkable Traverse, which is like an iconic New Zealand climb, and I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So. So you've taken tragedy and you've turned it into real inspiration, haven't you? Your family must be very proud of what you're up to at the moment. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Really Thanks looking for having forward me back to getting on. stuck into this one. And we're looking forward to your next book. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Another one. It's a boy's book, Changing Gears, Ups and Downs on the New Zealand Road. It's available now. And her latest book, um, Signing Tour, kicks off in Wanaka next Wednesday. She's doing bit climbing before she heads to Christchurch, Wellington, Napier and Auckland. You can check out her website for all the details.